Hi, Mayong Hapon. Once again, this is Pastor Sam for our daily reflections. And thank God for another episode that God had given to us, uh, especially on this uh, Sunday. Uh, it's uh, almost uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And of course, uh, thank God na kanya pong uh, binigay no? na nakapagsamba po tayo kanina together with uh, our brethren in church. Ayun, uh, ang atin pong uh, pag-usapan ngayon is uh, napaka-importante po na atin pong uh, uh, paksa patungkol po sa prodigal son. And uh, our text is found in the book of Luke chapter 15 verse 11 uh, Let's uh, connect verse 13 as well. Uh, it says here, And he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall it to me. And the father divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, And there wasted his substance with a ratious living. Now here, in these daily reflections, I would like to highlight the causes or one of the cause uh, that makes the prodigal son to go away from his father. Now, um, as we know, uh, Luke uh, chapter 15 or the parable of the prodigal son is a very famous uh, in terms of content in terms of uh, the story itself that the father uh, the uh, uh, love of the father is uh, you know uh, he forgive even uh, the uh, sin the wicked son the rebellious or the prodigal son in this text now uh, ano po yung cause bakit po yung prodigal son go away from his father ito po yung ating pag-usapan ngayon now as sa atin po mga kapatid kailangan po natin yung uh, ma-determine yung tinatawag natin na self will bakit kasi uh, most of us we are doing things for our pleasure we are yes we uh, we do ministry we do uh, job for our pleasure Now here, kung makikita po ninyo, one na nag-drive po sa prodigal son In fact, son na po ito ha Mayroon na po itong uh, re relation, strong uh, Not adopted son but genuine son Isa pong nag-drive out sa kanya And uh, wala, hindi niya po na uh, Hindi niya po nakita yung resulta Yung tinatawag natin na self-will Now, makikita po natin dito kapatid sa paksang ito or sa text na gamit po natin Una, mayroon pong mga words na gusto ko pong i-highlight Number one, in verse 12, it says here And the younger of them said to his father Father, give me the portion of goods that fall it to me Now, take note the word goods refers to money Ito po ang napaka-importante pong uh, matutunan ng bawat isa na once mag-drive out po yung uh, creation versus creator there will be a peril in the end believe me kasi ito po yung nagiging reason and cause bakit po yung prodigal son umiral po sa kanya yung self will because he desire the creation more than his father imagine that That is what we call self-will. And not only about money, but also yung tinatawag natin in verse 13, adventure. After the prodigal son received the portion of his share, he went away according to verse 13. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey afar off, bringing Uh, the resources that he received from his father You know, yes, uh, we love adventure But do not forget When we do adventure going somewhere It is good for us, brethren That we will always connect to God Now, and not only that But also in verse 13 The uh, prodigal son Also the word rich living 
Yes, he enjoyed the portion that he received and uh, we still spend it to uh, uh, what we call, uh, according to the scripture, it was not good living and uh, also unrighteous living. Now, money, adventure, rich living, and also unrighteous way of life. This one drives the prodigal son and this is all about self-will. Today, if we will no longer watch this self-will and this will drive us, number one will happen, take note, self-will has no good to contribute to us. Second, self-will, if it is not guarded, will break a good relationship. Imagine the prodigal son with his father. The relationship was broken, but thank God because of uh, the father is very gracious. He forgave and accepted his son when he came back. Now, third, any blessings will be wasted when self-will is not guarded. Brethren, today, ang akin pong uh, kumbaga na atin pong uh, tingnan dito, yung self-will po, dapat po i magiging madelate po yan sa atin. Kunin po natin yung gusto natin sa buhay. Uh, tingnan po natin si Kristo ang sabi niya, not my will be done but your will. Today it is my prayer that our will will be cast out will be uh, will be deleted in our lives, in our uh, mind even in our hearts. And of course, the will of the Lord it is good for us that it will reign in our hearts Thank you so much and this is the message today I pray and I declare that the Lord will continue to bless each one of us beginning today and the days ahead. This is Pastor Sam. We'll see to you. Bye-bye. See you next time.